Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the events taking place in the heart during the cardiac cycle. You should then be able to describe the role of the valves during this process. Ok, now we looked at the structure of the human heart in a previous video, and if you haven't seen that video then you need to watch it. In this video we're going to look at the events that take place when blood moves through the heart, and scientists call this the cardiac cycle. Now before we start there are two key words that you need to understand. The word systole means contracting, so for example atrial systole means contraction of the atria. In contrast the word diastole means relaxing, so ventricular diastole means relaxation of the ventricles. I'm showing you here a diagram of the heart just as the previous cardiac cycle is ending. Both the atria and ventricles are in diastole, in other words relaxed. Blood flows into the atria through the vena cava and pulmonary vein. This causes the pressure in the atria to rise. At a certain point the pressure in the atria is greater than the pressure in the ventricles. This causes the atrioventricular valves to open, allowing blood to flow down from the atria into the ventricles. Now the atria contract, in other words atrial systole takes place. This pushes the remaining blood from the atria down to the ventricles. After a short period of time the ventricles contract, in other words they enter ventricular systole. The pressure in the ventricles now rises rapidly. Because the ventricular pressure is now greater than the atrial pressure, the atrioventricular valves close, and this prevents any blood from moving back into the atria from the ventricles. The semilunar valves in the pulmonary artery and aorta also open, and blood is pumped from the ventricles out of the heart. You'll notice that when the ventricles contracted the atria relaxed. Finally the ventricles relax, in other words they enter ventricular diastole. At some point the pressure in the ventricles falls below the pressure in the pulmonary artery and aorta. This causes the semilunar valves to shut and this prevents blood from flowing back into the ventricles. At this point the heart is ready to enter the next cardiac cycle. In the next video we look at the pressure changes taking place in the heart during the cardiac cycle. 